Of course, here comes the rain. As soon as I want to take a little ride. Never fails. I think this is going to scare the crap out of my man. I'm used to it, but uh, yeah, this is going to probably scare the crap out of him because this thing, <laughs> this thing is buck wild. And then it's like it, it squats down and goes into a second gear. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Seems like when you get like two thirds of the way up in speed at a hunch down and feels like my old 300 ZX turbo. That's how it used to, when the turbo kicked in, it would squat down in the back and then it commenced the whole ass. I had uh, one of those anniversary editions, 300 ZX turbo back in the day. But that's what this reminds me of. My recording. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot about that big dip back there. Yeah, it felt like it kicked in the turbo. Yeah, this little bike is wicked. Yeah, man. That formula I came up with for this build, man, is off the chain. Because I just watched a video on one of them uh, CRT, what is this, CRT bikes or something. And man, guy was talking about how many amps this battery was and how many amps the controller was and all that. And then he did a speed test. And man, 
that bike didn't go any faster than this bike. In fact, it cut off right at 43 miles an hour, just like this build. And I know he had over three grand, three grand uh, of parts in that build. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to post the link to that exact video in the description. And I want you guys to check it out for yourself. Like I said, he said, uh, he said he had a, well, you'll see. It says the specs in the beginning of the video. And you'll see, he do his little speed test. And that bike is not any faster than this bike is right now. I guarantee it. And you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It goes about the same speed. All right. Just uh, thought I'd jump on it. Take it for a little spin. Looks pretty good though. I love I love these black bikes. Dressed in all black like they own. This is for my homie. Pull me down, baby. And if y'all don't know, I keep people keep asking me about this rear view cam, man. Best thing ever. Best thing ever. $59 from Amazon. Tell me I didn't charge this thing up. There it is. Yeah, look at that. 59 bucks from Amazon. Has night vision and all that good stuff. And uh, you just can't beat it, man. You cannot beat it for the money. I've tried all kinds of rear view mirrors and rear view cams. I mean, uh, rear view mirrors on this bike. And I, I can't never see anything out of any of them. That's the alarm for Frank. Um, I love this little alarm because it's built into the brake light. As you can see. Now the alarm is on. And uh, first time I'm going to give you a warning through the shock sensor. I kick it. Then the next time, and it just goes ham. That's a good deterrent. So that surely ain't going to stop nobody from stealing your bike. But it's surely going to alert you to their presence. So that's all you need. Once I hear the alarm going off, the next thing you're going to hear is some bussing. And I ain't got to tell you what the bussing is. And for those who don't know, don't worry about it. But for those who do know, yeah, you, I'm going to hear the alarm. And then next thing you're going to hear is some bussing. And I love that little speedometer app right there. It's called Thunder Speedometer. Uh, it stopped raining just that quick. I think I'll take Frank for a little light cruise. Wing. Oh man, that kickstand hit my foot. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that ain't my swollen up foot. Oh, cause that still hurt. Yeah, I love this little speed armor. But uh, yep, fellas, just like I was saying, man. That, sorry about that. Yeah, but going from uh, that Super Seventy Three to Frank, I feel like I just climbed up on a horse, man. That's how much taller Frank is in that Super 73.
Back break making that noise. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I Frank, to me, I don't care what nobody said. Now I rode them both back to back. And Frank rides better than the Super 73. Y'all can say whatever y'all wanna say. Y'all Super 73 fanboys. I'm not a Zugo fanboy, I'm just a Zugo owner. But I'm a proud Zugo owner. And I ain't gonna bullshit. Now, if that Super 73 felt better than Frank, I'd say it. But damn if Frank don't feel like a damn Mercedes Benz, just like what he is. <laughs> Compared to that Super 73. Yeah. Frank is definitely a Mercedes Benz. Matter of fact, he, the, the ride is that much different. He almost is uh, inching on Rolls Royce feeling com in comparison. And then, like I said, it's just you, you sit up so much higher, and I don't like the way. I feel slumped over on that Super 73. I almost feel like I'm on a uh, crotch rocket. Feel like I'm on my old ninja. Cause you, you, you slump over. I don't like that. I like to sit up. This bike sits a lot higher and I'm sitting up. Now I can see a whole, my visibility is a whole lot better. Man, y'all think he think I'm lying, but you just check it out for yourself. Whoa! Did I tell you what? This big, this big controller does have a lot of torque mid range. I think Frank has got more torque out the hole, but wow, that mid range torque on this thing is kind of funky. Oh, yeah. Mm, that was my, that was Frank's lip. I brushed Frank's lip. I might have to put some, some uh, bigger forks, some stronger forks on the front, or at least take that fender off. That aluminum fender. If I can't raise it up any higher, sometimes uh, the suspension bottoms out and the fender rubs on my tire. Wow. Yeah, that big controller ain't no joke. Mid range. But I'm in medium. Frank don't like it on high. Whatever, uh, however many amps is pulling on high is a little bit too much. Now, I ain't gonna burn out this BMS because I do not wanna. Uh, take my top tank apart my batteries let me show you guys yeah um see my my top tank is a little dirty right now but this is my 252s i made this cover this canvas and i sewed it with the sewing machine you can see i i I made it neatly. I made the little circle around. This is a GPS. Just pulls right out. Magnetic. Sticks right in there. But man, look how look how neat I, I cut that hole and stitched that around there. Now, in order to get to the BMSs in these 252s, I would have to uh, bust all this back open. You know, peel, peel. You know, I got rubber, this rubber on the side. I did to peel the rubber up, and then I would have to cut this canvas. Uh, uh, put the batteries in this canvas material. And man, I'm not doing all that. 
I don't want to rip Frank up. Even though I can seal it back and glue it back, I'm just not going through all that because that wasn't the plan. This big, this big dumbass controller pulling all them damn amps was not the plan. So, sticking with the plan. Going to 120 volts with Frank. In the meantime, I just cruise on them and, you know, in medium. I ain't gonna hit them too hard. Woo! I'm gonna hit them too hard for right now. Let me see what else I gotta discuss before I call it a day. Oh. I mean, uh, I had started talking one day. I don't think I never posted that video. I was talking about rules for my channel. And what the hell that sound like? Somebody like me talking about some damn rules. Well, guess what? The rules, there are no damn rules for my channel. But I'll tell you what there will be. There will be some damn respect. Especially for me, because it's my channel. One thing I'm not going to have is somebody come on my damn channel in the comment section and disrespect moi. You ain't gonna be getting out on me on my own damn channel. Let me tell you, you will you will be ejected. Like I say, you can say whatever you want to say. If I'm wrong about something, tell me I'm wrong. Show me why I'm wrong. You better have some proof. You better be backing up whatever I'm wrong about. Don't just come on there with your mouth talking about I'm wrong. Because <laughs> I take it very... I take it very seriously when I'm wrong about it. I ain't going to lie. I don't like to be wrong now. I do not like to be wrong. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm man enough to accept it and acknowledge it. But you ain't going to sit up there and talk shit. <laughs> hey, man. I got to tell y'all. This dude came on my channel and told me I was wrong about something. Matter of fact, it was the uh, the uh, video where I was talking about the uh, pedal assist. And man, come on, man. You know, damn well I know how a pedal assist works. But this dude, he was upset because I had caught him. Uh, he, he flipped the script because... Uh, in one video, I was talking about, you know, I needed, I needed, uh, I was trying to get some support and I was discussing whether or not I was going to charge for the Super 73 build in the wiring info or not charge for it, put it on my Patreon. And this dude who had been talking so nice, he was always nice in the comment section, you know, asked me about my leg and this and that. Like I say, the guy was always nice. I said something about the Patreon, and he was like, uh, never mind. Hell no, I'm not paying $3 for nothing. He said, uh, I'm an electrical engineer, and I don't need to pay. I know all this stuff myself. Yada, yada, yada. He started talking about all his, uh, all, all his credentials. And then, a video or two later... After I said uh, I was going to, you know, put it on there for free. Uh, I thought it was another person. I didn't even realize it was the same guy. Somebody was commenting, talking about, yeah, I can't wait till you put it on there. Uh, put the wine part on there. I'm anxious to see the wine part. That's what I want to see. And then come to find out, because I was going to look for the guy that said that he wasn't going to... Uh, he didn't need to see it because he was an engineer. I was definitely going to make sure he didn't see it. But come to find out that that was the same guy that just commented and said, yeah, he couldn't wait to see the wiring part. So, I mean, 
I just basically let them know that, yeah, bro, I peeped you out. You the same dude that said a while ago that you wasn't paying to see it. Now you, you, you can't wait to see it. So when I let him know that I knew, I noticed he got quiet for a couple videos. He hadn't said nothing, so I knew he was mad. And he was sitting back in the background just like a troll waiting on me to be wrong about something so he could jump all over me. And the crazy part is the, the thing that he tried to jump all on me about Obviously, he didn't listen to the whole video or he didn't understand what I said because he was completely wrong about what I said. And it was like he heard something he thought he heard and he just everything stopped right there. He was like, oh, I got him. So he immediately jumped in the comments section, yada, yada, yada. I was wrong, this and that. And not only that, this is what got me. I would have been cool with all of that, but this is, this is what got him booted. This man said that if any of my followers want to know how this is really done, yada, 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 I'm here and I'll take questions if anybody needs this explained to them. Now he's on my channel in my comment section telling my subscribers that he's going to take questions on my shit. Man, you must be you must be on soy sauce, bro. You know how hard I work to get my little 3 400 subscribers. I mean, those are my subscribers. I put in the work and did what I had to do to, you know, to get these guys to want to subscribe to my channel for whatever reason. And you think you're going to be holding lectures in my comment section about me being wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let, needless to say, like I say, he's gone. But don't let that make you guys this, so you don't want to tell me something if I'm wrong. Man, I'm not trying to say I can't be wrong. But you ain't going to tell me I'm wrong and then disrespect me on my own damn channel. Hell no. That shit ain't jump. That shit ain't happening. All right, let me get my ass on in the house. And I'm sorry about that, guys. I, I feel like sometimes I'm being like a cocky asshole when I say shit like that. But no, nah, man, fuck that. Like I say, man, this man not about to hold the lecture in my damn comment section about me being wrong. And he ain't even hear what the hell I said wrong. He wrong as two left shoes. Hell no, that shit is not happening. All right, y'all, y'all have a good one. Take it easy, take care. Look at Frank. Man, I love that little cat down there, man. It do what it do. Frank is just straight gangster. Oh, just real quick. I'm going to throw this in at the end. Uh, somebody asked me, what was that? Uh, that little strap thing down there for and that's what it's for it's actually another phone holder because uh and i'm like uh i'm like two chains but i'm two phones well actually if you call my display i would be three phones but uh 
I'm, I'm like two chains. I'm two phones because I, I keep two phones on my possession at all times. But this phone is totally for something else. So, yeah, from time to time, I might have that phone with me. But, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. That's it. Deuces. We out.